Meet Bobby and Paul. They need help finishing their laundry room. With two kids, two full-time jobs, and a menagerie of pets, Bobby and Paul don't have time to do the research on the products they want to buy. There's only so many hours in the day, and so it takes a while to, to research it, and then, you know, it takes money to pay for it. That's where we come in. From washers and dryers to countertops, cabinets, and even the sink, we'll show them what they can pick, what it costs, and why it makes sense for their room. On Buy It. Today to help Bobby and Paul make informed purchases for their laundry room is home expert Paul Hecht. Hello there. Good I'm morning. Paul Hecht. Hi Paul, I'm Paul. Nice to meet you, Paul. Bobby, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Whether their budget is $100,000 or $1,000, my expertise is really in setting up someone's house. Everything from tile to furniture to televisions, appliances, everything. This is a beautiful, beautiful house. Thank you. We moved in about a year and a half ago, so the laundry room was kind of the, the last thing to do, but it's definitely a room that we want to be functional. Are you All ready? Right. Ready? I think so. Here you go. This is a laundry room. Okay. It's a laundry room with a nice Tupperware thing on the floor with, with <laughs> wrapping paper. There's nothing wrong with that, but I mean, that's kind of why I'm here. And the wrapping paper in here is... Uh... Well, you know, my kids are invited to probably one birthday party a week, so um, I feel like I'm always wrapping, so wrapping station would be great. Uh, it's really just a functional room. I'd like an ironing area. I don't do lots of ironing, but I'd like to be able to iron on whatever surface we get. Given the amount of space you have, I would possibly if you're open to maybe new washer and dryers and possibly stackables, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I think built-ins in yes. here. You know, maybe to hide all this stuff too, yes. have somewhere to hide those. Yes. And a sink, mm -hmm. countertops. I love that. All right, so we have a lot of items to buy. So the big question is, how much do you have to spend? $300. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Well, we were thinking that's what we would like, of course. The budget that we're looking to keep this in is somewhere around five thousand dollars. So here's what we're gonna do: you will go off and work, make that money so we can pay for all this. Bobby and I will go out and look at some options. You guys buy it, okay. get it installed. I will come back and see how you've done. Okay. All right. There's actually a lot that goes into choosing cabinets, washer and dryers countertops and sinks, but I'll have her budget in mind and her needs in mind and be able to kind of narrow in on, you know, a few machines and a few countertops and a few cabinets and kind of make it, you know, that less dramatic and stressful for her. I truly hope that having Paul Hecht here will simplify the process because, you know, put it this way, for putting our grass in, my husband made me <laughs> research it for, I'm not joking, for a month for all the different kinds of grass you can get. Is that all right? Should I go shopping? Right. Sure. So here we are. We're doing your laundry room, so I figured what better place to come than a big laundry room. I figured rather than being in a beautiful shop where we can't like get hands on and play with them, we could come here and throw your laundry in here and actually see how these machines work. Okay. Obviously these units are coin operated and industrial strength and aren't going to be for sale at the local appliance store. But it's nice to get in here and actually see how they work and all that. When I arrived here, yeah, I was pretty surprised. I didn't expect him to actually want to do laundry. But if he wants to do my laundry, he can. <laughs> um, top loaders. Okay. Front loaders. Okay. Major differences. Load from the top. <laughs> Load from the front. Very insightful. Top loading washers work by adding enough water to the tub to cover the clothes and then stirring them around with an agitator. After sufficient time agitating, the water drains from the tub which then spins rapidly to dry the clothes. So our top loader. Okay. With our agitator right here in the middle, which you know kind of twists and turns the clothes around and can damage clothes possibly. Right. And you can usually get these for like under $500. Oh, okay. Tons of companies make these, so they're easy to find, easy to repair, but also um, these are much quicker, less expensive and much quicker than front loaders. So just some things to think about. Okay. Front-loading washers work by filling the tub about 25% of the way full. The tub then rotates to lift the clothes to the top, then drop them into the water below. This tumbling action gets the clothes clean without the use of an agitator. After draining, the tub then spins off the excess water. 
So here's our front loader. These use less water, oh. less energy. I had no idea. More capacity. But these are going to cost you maybe twice as much as top loaders. OK. But you can actually get a rebate from your local energy company because they save so much energy. And the other cool thing, for a tight space like you guys have, you can stack these. Their laundry room is not moving. It's going to be in that tight space, and she wants to incorporate a wrapping center. So if she wants all of that stuff and wants to use that room for many different reasons, I think she has to get the front loader so she can stack them in the corner. And now one other thing I like about the front loaders, you put the detergent and the bleach right in here. Oh, right. Okay. As opposed to the top loader where you put it right on the clothes and can actually damage the clothes by doing that. Oh, I never thought of that. One more benefit. Other things to look for when shopping for washers are settings and displays. Does the washer offer you the cycles that you need for your laundry? Would you prefer a digital display or one with a dial? Also, washers now come in a variety of different colors to brighten your room, and some even have windows so you can keep an eye on your wash. Keeping these options and your budget in mind will help you purchase the machine that's right for you. So here we are at the dryers. Unlike washers, dryers are mechanically simple. Damp clothes tumble as warm air from either a gas or electric heater passes through them. Then the moisture, now in the form of steam, is pulled out through a lint screen in the door and off into an exhaust vent. These don't have it, but the, the units that you'll show your husband tomorrow when he has his credit card and you're trying to convince him to get these or the others, they have a sensor um, that senses how wet your laundry is. So based on that, it determines how long your drying cycle is. So you don't even have to think about it. Throw yeah. it in there, grab a coffee, don't even worry about it. So nice. Other features to keep in mind are drying racks for your delicates, a drum light so you can find your missing socks, and your choice of either a ceramic drum or the more rust-resistant stainless steel. Don't be too concerned with capacity. Most dryers have sufficient capacity for even your largest loads. The process of buying even a washer and dryer, believe it or not, can be totally overwhelming because there are so many options. But hopefully you'll now be able to kind of focus and narrow down and know exactly what you want when she goes to the store tomorrow with her husband. So can you convince Paul to get what you want, do you think? I think so. All right. Should we go look at other items then to finish your room? That would be great. All righty, let's go. Next, Paul gives Bobby the inside scoop on countertops. This is not heat resistant. Oh, no, I didn't actually. know that. What to look for and what to avoid. I love shopping. <laughs> I hate shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for doing it for me. <laughs> I love stores like this because it's a one-stop shop, literally to get like everything from door poles to cabinets, and it can be a little bit overwhelming, but it's all about focusing and what do you need? I need cabinets, countertops, sinks, and washers and dryers. And here we are. Look familiar? Yes. But much nicer, newer, and um, much clean. Much more beautiful. I don't know sure. how to open those, but they're very clean. There is one thing I didn't show you though in the laundromat, so okay. um, we're gonna go over here and look at it. Here we go. Okay. It's actually another top loader washer. Oh wow, this is so cool, it's clear. Yeah, and it's no agitator, energy saving, uh, but it hasn't been time tested yet. Oh, uh, okay. But one thing that I think is, I'm not crazy about, it doesn't lock, so your kids can easily right. open that, throw things in there, the cat They're can even get in there. They're gonna love to watch it, so Yeah, this exactly. Is not... okay. And another major thing, as you can see, you can't stack it. Right. But. But I can't wait to show you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Countertops. I Let's go. Wait. Okay. La la jazz hands. <laughs> so here we are in the counter section. Lovely. I know you're thrilled, aren't you? <laughs> all right. So it's a little overwhelming. I know. That's why I'm here. Lots of choices. I think before we get into all these different choices, we have to address what you're using the space for. I mean, obviously, it's a laundry room. You're doing laundry, but on your counters. What are you doing? Are you wrapping? Are you wrapping? I mean, the occasional ironing wouldn't be bad. So okay, I would okay. like um, a surface that could it could iron on. Okay. Well, let's start with the higher end granite, which is a natural stone. Beautiful. Love granite. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It's also heat resistant, so you can totally iron on that. Okay. And it runs uh, between like seventy and three hundred dollars a square foot, so that's something to think about. 
Okay. A little less expensive is this engineered stone made of quartz. It's that same look. It comes in one giant piece, which is beautiful because it's seamless. But if you have to replace it, that's going to be... They can't patch it ever or anything? No. But again, heat resistant. You can iron on it. You can put crock pots on it, whatever you want to do. Okay. Then we have our synthetic solid surface. It's actually made of polyester and acrylic. It's kind of like a, um, a high end, I wouldn't call it plastic, but it's, it's similar. Okay. It's about 70 to $150 a square foot. Um, looks a lot like the granite, but this is not heat resistant, so you can't iron on this. Right. So, you know, these are beautiful, but I just want you to know that they cost, you know, your kids' tuition to school, basically. Okay. And again, I think for your budget, too, I mean, you have you have a hefty budget, but if you're going to spend more money on washers and dryers, right. maybe don't spend as much here. Okay. I think at the end of the day, it's, it's a laundry room. This is not her kitchen. It's not a bar. She's not going to be hanging out there serving cocktails, I don't think. So I don't really see the benefit of spending more money on expensive countertops when you should put your money into the things that you're using it for, the washer and dryer. Now on the complete opposite end of things, in, in the price department, ceramic tile. The great thing about ceramic tile is it's far less expensive. It's like between $5 and $50 a square foot. And it's, um, it's a clay, obviously, that's formed into a tile. And it's kiln dried, so it's heat resistant. It's not very smooth to iron on. Well, good point there, Missy. I mean, unless you have like you know, an 18 by 18 size uh, tile, right, if you want right, to do something sure. larger. And I mean, again, we're talking about this because I still think I'd rather see you spend the money on appliances. Appliances, But I can yeah. let you decide that. But laminate, it's essentially a plastic coated synthetic piece that comes in big giant sheets. And they lay it out on a countertop. Okay. And they glue it and press it down. It's not heat resistant, but again, I like that it's very inexpensive. It's, Is that inexpensive? It's like between two and twenty dollars a square foot. I think I wouldn't put this in a kitchen because it's you know a little bit on the lower end of things. But in a laundry room, I mean, again, unless the Queen of England is coming over to do your laundry, I wouldn't even worry about it. Right. So are you leaning towards anything? I'm not going to tell you. All right. But we have to drop a sink into this too. So right. before we get too crazy with the counters, let's go check out some sinks. All right. Sounds great. All right. After you, man. Okay. Coming up next, Paul shows Bobby how to shop smart. This is the most durable. And avoid costly mistakes while shopping for cabinets and sinks. One thing to see something online, but it's another thing to come in and touch things, see what they actually look like, because more times than not, people will order things online, then they arrive and they they hate everything. I want something that won't stain, because obviously, you know, I might be doing stuff in the sink, like bleaching. Our sink options, we've got porcelain, stainless, plastic. Plastic being the least expensive. Well, that's a big point. Stainless steel being the most resistant to chemicals. I would probably lean towards the stainless, again, if you're bleaching, if you're doing things like that. OK. I just think anything in a laundry room. Right. Should be durable. Yeah. And you, if you want to wash clothes, if you want to do all that, I think the bigger basin yes. makes more sense. Because I think if you get, if you get a, a sink that's not deep enough, what's the point of having it in the laundry room? Right. Because you're no, washing no, clothes point. and stuff good like point. that. All right. Just my opinion. Some other decisions you'll have to make are, do you want your sink undermounted, lip mounted, or integrated? And if you need lots of volume, go with the single basin design. But if you want more flexibility, a double or triple basin is better. Are you comfortable with the sinks? Yeah. Okay. I think so. so should I go look at cabinets? Yes. All right. All right, here we are, the cabinet section. Okay. More choices. Don't you love it? Oh yeah. All right, it's pretty important though because when you walk into that room, you're going to see these right away. What sure. do you think would look good? Not country. Um, <laughs> I would probably do like a lighter wood just because, again, it's a small space. Right. And these are custom made. Okay. They also have in stock items that are already made of MDF. What's MDF? MDF stands for Medium Density Fiberboard, an engineered wood product made up of sawdust and an adhesive resin that's been formed into panels by heat and pressure. It's not as durable. I mean, again, in a moist space, if you're ironing and getting it wet, it might not be... Difficult to get that past Yeah, well. But again, it's about a tenth less expensive than really? this. Really? Yeah. Well. And um, smells like a hamster cage. <laughs> <laughs> 
drawers. Okay. Believe it or not, there are different drawer styles too. Okay. These are just your standard drawers here. Okay. These actually have a little stopper. Okay. They call these auto close. Nice. How exciting is that? So Very. no slamming. So I mean, again, it's one more thing to think about. It might right. seem insignificant, no, but you have really to think nice. about all these cats. things. Mm -hmm. There are an endless array of options when it comes to buying cabinets. One of the more important is to decide on a finish. Do you want painted, natural stained, or color stained? Also, pay attention to how the cabinets are crafted. A higher quality, long-lasting option is dovetail joints instead of the less expensive, stapled and glued. So, I mean, I think that pretty much covers it. Giving you a lot of stuff to think about, a lot of choices. A lot of choices. Are you going to be able to sort of narrow it down and help Paul focus? Is he going to be overwhelmed coming in here? No, he's not going to be overwhelmed. But I mean, there's a lot of decisions to make, and we just have to make them and get it done. I must say, it was a really nice process to have Paul Hecht come in and you know do all the research for me. This saved me so much time. Wow. Well, I'm going to send you off with this little portfolio. Thank you. Of everything we've talked about. Okay. I'm going to go away for a couple days and then come back and see how you did. Okay. I've kind of sent Bobby away with a million ideas and a million choices, so I, I just can't wait to see how it all comes together. Thank you. Good luck. Yes. Thank you, guys. That was fun. Take it easy. See you later. Bye. Up next, armed with loads of new information. And these have much more capacity. Bobby returns with her husband to make their purchases. And finally, Paul Hecht returns Wow, okay. to critique the completed room. She could have probably saved a lot of money. Tons of stuff I want to show you. Well, now that Paul Hecht and I have done our shopping and he's armed me with loads of information, um, I'm going to take my Paul and we are going to go and shop for all the items we need for the laundry room. Have you already walked around everything? Yeah, they have tons of stuff. Paul was really good. Come over here. Here are the sinks. Okay. We can either go porcelain or stainless or this plastic. I think it needs to be deep enough to put things in. For the laundry room, I didn't really know what to do for a laundry room. That's one of the reasons we never had it finished. Because you're never in the laundry room, darling. <laughs> True. So you said stainless might be an option. Yeah. If we wanted to do the plastic sink, we could have a little bit extra money to put in granite or marble. These front load washers have much more capacity. I can put an entire comforter in there and you could stack them if you want, which is kind of nice because you could just, you know. Oh, that's great, yeah. I thought you had to get it all on one unit to stack it. No. I thought Paul Heck did a really great job giving us the information we needed to uh, get this project moving. So let's look at the cabinets real quick. Some are going to be made out of MDF. You know? I think for the laundry room, you want to stay away from the MDF. That's actually what Paul said, too. Okay. I was very impressed at how knowledgeable she was on all the products. I'm real excited to, to see how it turns out. I think that's everything. Let's find someone to help us make some yeah, decisions. Yeah, we'll find a, a sales associate and okay. see what they have to say. Okay. After making their final decisions on counters, cabinets, a sink, a washer, and a dryer, Paul and Bobby had professional installers begin the renovation process. To our new laundry room. To our new laundry room. One week later, the laundry room was finished and ready for Paul Heck to come and give his first impressions. I can't wait to see what they've done. I had so much fun with Bobby shopping, even though she claims she doesn't like shopping. I mean, who doesn't like shopping? I don't even understand that. But I really can't wait to see what they ended up choosing. Oh. <laughs> Very exciting. You ready, Paul? Here you go. <laughs> you probably turned it into a den, didn't you? <laughs> I can't wait to see this. I think he's going to love it. I, I think he'll be very surprised. The with, room just looks so much bigger, out. and uh... I hope he likes it. <laughs> All right. Wow, it looks absolutely amazing. Looks pretty good. They did a phenomenal job. It looks beautiful. They have 
tons and tons of storage. I love that they went with the front-loading stackables. Who did that? My mother-in-law. Are Paul's you kidding? Mom. My mom came on by and painted us up a, 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 a nice part of the room. A nice mural. And the kids did the clouds in the background. Absolutely beautiful. Looks pretty good, huh? The wrapping station. We got the wrapping, all the ribbons. It's like Martha Stewart meets Candy Spelling. <laughs> I love the wrapping room. Wow. I hate the cabinets. <laughs> wow, that is really beautiful. I don't do laundry, but I love these. These are so beautiful. Aren't they beautiful. so nice being stackable? And, you know, with rebates and so forth, it, they weren't that expensive. The sink, what's going on back there? Oh, stainless. Yeah. Very nice. We did stainless. Nice. And I love that they went with the stainless steel. While it might be a little bit on the expensive side, for a laundry room, it's the best. We did a nice deep one, like you suggested. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, the stainless just made the most sense. The plastic one was nice because it was deep and everything, but I was just afraid, like, with bleaching and chemicals and stuff, that. It, exactly. it wouldn't last. I love that it's at an angle. Yeah, yeah. I like I that sink too. These are white. The cabinets, we decided to go with the solid wood face frames and doors. Did you get oak? It's actually maple. Oh, and we painted painted them. them. Now, the countertops actually look like you probably spent more on those than you did the washer and dryer. Were those? Yes, we That's did. That's true. <laughs> you did. Okay, okay. We did. But I mean, it shows. I mean, they're, they're, they're beautiful. Well, you know, I figured this is what you see a lot of, and I just like the look of it. When I saw the solid surface countertops, I was actually kind of surprised. I mean, just the dollar signs were going off in my mind. I thought, wow, they probably spent quite a bit on those. But it truly looks amazing. The reason why I went with this synthetic solid surface is because I liked the way it looked better than anything else. And even though you can't iron on it, I just figured that we'll get a little ironing board that we can pop on top of that. Aesthetically, I loved, I loved this, the color of it, and I just thought it went really well with our curtains. She could have gone with the engineered stone for the same amount of money, and that is heat resistant. And again, I think it looks really clean and sleek. We had a budget we were working within, obviously. So did you stay within that? Did you go over? We went a little over. So maybe like $2,000 over, which is... Wow, okay. To save a little money, I probably would have gone with the ceramic tiles. Uh, she could have gotten them in a larger size, so she could have ironed on them because they're also heat resistant and probably saved a lot of money. But it looks nice. And, you know, most importantly, I think Bobby's happy that she finally has her laundry room. Okay, I honestly, truly, I, I, I knew that it would be beautiful, but I had it no idea. Good. It looks phenomenal. I think it just looks so clean, so nice. I love that it's white. They did a phenomenal job. Well, I had a lot of fun shopping with Paul, and he really made the whole experience easier and more fun. So I want to say thanks, Paul. Yep. Thank you, Paul.